for seven months in a row. And there is Mr. Eximed with 18 months in a row. So from the very first moment when there was a sub button, you were there. Stream hype, he says. And yeah, when I see your subscription, I always need to take my glass and cheer to your uh, profile picture. <laughs> Cheers to you, Mr. Xame. Thank you so much for 18 months in a row. That's really incredible, a long time. So yeah, thank you for the love spam, everyone. And Dirk, hey, welcome back. And yeah, Queen Leilani, you were talking about having a chill weekend at my parents' home, but yeah, my mom just called an hour ago and she told me that she needs my help for some project. And so yeah, 400 pages or something. And I have to go through that together with her. So it's uh, not so chill anymore now. But yeah. I hope that um, in the future <laughs> that I will be able to stream whenever I'm outside. So that's why I have made this outdoor streaming equipment goal. So that in the future when I visit my parents, I can stream in their garden. When I'm outside um, in summer picking strawberries, uh, then you can join me sitting in the forest, streaming there, uh, cooking something in the garden of my parents, streaming it from there. So, um, yeah. Rip voice. No, it's on. Everything's fine. So. Oh, or did um, the frozen picture made my voice crack as well? Hey, Solantin, welcome. Hi. So, could you hear everything? Just tell me, Dirk. Okay, so, we're gonna bake some fish today. Um, and for everyone who cannot cook, um, this is my ingredients list. So, it's very short. Um, it's just rose fish, sliced lemon, some pepper, some salt, some onions, some dill. Um, I have some potatoes here in this pot nicely cooked already and I will make some fried potatoes out of them and then I'm gonna make a mushroom cream sauce so mushroom cream sauce goes on top of the fried potatoes and fish um, will be covered in sliced lemon and um, some nice pepper and dill and onions and go into the oven so we will have an oven baked fish One minute ago it froze. I think I wasn't really talking then. I was just saying, hey, why is the screen frozen? Um, Chaos Imp, welcome. Yeah, so these are my cooked potatoes. And um, yeah, I left the skin because they are organic. When potatoes are not organic, I remove the skin. Yeah, let's start with um, slicing some lemon, cutting some shallots. Here I have some shallots and some onions. Let's make an onion shallot mixture. So I'm happy to be back. It was a really busy week for me. And now I'm happy that you guys cheered me up and gave me some energy. So in Discord, so for everyone who's in Discord, um, you probably noticed that I was very exhausted and um, I came back from university. I was just feeling exhausted. I was eating some sandwiches and then um, I just sat down and didn't move. And then some of you guys told me that they are so, so sad when I'm not streaming. And so I thought, hey, I hate it when people are sad. I want to make people happy. So um, I stream. And now I'm here.
and Kickboxer, welcome! Um, potatoes can be organic because um, the, the chemicals they spray on the potato plant then it also goes into the plant and goes into the potato. So, um, yeah, let's switch the cam. But don't be shocked, it was a really cold week, so my hands are probably very dry. Um, your husband asked about me. He was like, what happened to Gold Amsel? So funny. He remembers your username too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. When I had semester holidays, I was streaming almost every day. But now that's <laughs> becoming a bit harder for me. But I hope next week is gonna be more chill. Always depends on the weeks. Uh, I got some really small onions this time. Hey, the hunger service! Welcome! Really small. And also, I got a cut here in my thumb, as you can see. And it's a really deep cut. And it hurts. Yeah. It hurts a lot when I peel the onion. But okay. Fighting. So, the, the screen is still grey. Do you see this? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Why not a glove? Um, I have no gloves here and also I'm allergic to latex. But um, yeah, I know there are non-latex gloves, but at the moment I don't have any here. But I will get through that, so... You can get used to the pain, right? Um, so it's not a cut that is bleeding. So, um, yeah. It's still an open cut, but it's not bleeding. So I don't have any band-aid here or something. Almiria! 14 months in a row! Welcome back. Uh, you're writing something in uh, Dutch, so I don't really know what it means. Uh, oh, it could be like, um, yeah, Guten Abend. So, Guten Abend, Dutch, German, quite similar. Thank you for 14 months in a row, dear Almiria. Welcome back to the Gold Amsel Heaven. And um, yeah, good evening to you as well. Good Abend. Good evening. You think so, Tuant? You think that um, women have a special hormone that is fighting against any pain? in their body. So, I will chop them even smaller. There. Ah, guten Abend or guten Abend is the same. Okay, good evening then. I wasn't sure if I uh, should take the shallots or the onions for the fish and for the mushrooms also. I'm just gonna mix shallots and onions together and then, yeah, we'll use them both for the fish and the mushroom sauce. Okay. It's proven by science that um, females perceive less physical pain. Okay, I think that's good then. 
You feel like you keep missing my streams. Um, no, I wasn't streaming this week during the week because I was very exhausted and um, yeah, I had lots of work to do. So usually I came home at around 6 p.m. in the evening and um, yeah, today I managed to come home at around 4 p.m. So yeah, but I need to catch up on a lot of things. I'm not the fastest with uh, studying, so I now need to make longer hours learning. So I was a bit lazy the last years when, when it came to studying. Of course, in other things I was not lazy, but when it came to studying I was a bit lazy. Just subscribed, and he just subscribed with the nine dollar ninety nine subscription for eighteen months in a row. He is just testing the new sub tiers. Thank you so much, guys! Make sure to spam lots of love into the chat for these wonderful fluffy wings, and also for the first subscriber ever that has triggered um, a higher sub tier. So. Yeah, first times. Thank you so much for 18 months in a row. Also one of the very first subscribers, dear Auntie. And thank you for $9.99 subscription. Yeah, you're the first one that has triggered that subscription. Um, I have no special emotes for it yet, but I'm working on some. So. I had some ideas for special emotes for the $9.99 and $24. But yeah, I'm I'm still not very satisfied with all of the ideas, so I need to rethink all my ideas. Thank you very much, Anti. I feel you too, welcome! Yes, there's a um, new subscription feature on Twitch. So um, they now have enabled $9.99 subscriptions and also um, $24 subscriptions. So um, for example, when you sub with uh, $9.99, you can unlock a special emote that is only for $9.99. And when you are subbing with um, $24, you are unlocking two emotes, so both the $9.99 emote and the $24 emote. So that's what Twitch is uh, giving to the streamers now and also to the viewers. And um, yeah, more yeah, more of these um, higher sub tiers get you more emotes as well. So emotes in general. <coughs> So um, I have to take a look at the point system, but I think it was like six more points for a new sub emote or something. How's it going, Ifiorito? Well, I was feeling very exhausted today when I came home at 4 p.m. I was so super exhausted. I was eating some sandwiches and just chilling on my chair. Um, I. I was feeling so destroyed. My eyes were so super heavy. Um, I was ready to go to bed, but then you guys convinced me to stream. So on Discord, you were so very hyped and yeah, just very cool and heartwarming. So I thought, okay, let's stream. If so many people want me to stream and would be sad if I'm not then I'm gonna stream. But now I do not see... You Got Owned was one of the guys who was sad because yeah, You Got Owned told me that he's missing my streams and that he would be sad when I'm not streaming. But now I do not even see him here. Okay, anyways. Um, 
it's going to be kind of hardcore. You're going to be at the theater from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah, that sounds hardcore. Sleepy developer, welcome. Yeah, health comes first. But food is also healthy and um, so you need to nurture yourself. Um, still red, no need to have any special effects to be a vampire. Yeah, like I told you, sometimes, sometimes I feel very monstrous. Oh, wow! And he just subscribed with a $24 subscription. Subscribing for 18 months in a row. Now you need the premium emotes for serious fans. But how does this work? You just subscribed with $9.99. How, how does this even work? Okay, guys, make sure to spam lots of love into the chat for Anti. The very first $9.99 subscriber and the very first $24.99 subscriber. Oh, and the Sailor Moon Dance, of course. Thank you so much. You got some angelic wings. First the black wings, now the angelic wings. I think you got them all today. Thank you so much, dear Auntie. And um, I'm gonna work on the two emotes. So, yeah. This weekend, I have lots of time on my way to my parents. Four hours train drive to them and then back home. So I will have lots of time to think about ideas. Thank you very much for that $24 subscription. Who does the design of the emotes? Um, so I have ideas and then um, I tell them to my very talented artist and then he is making the emotes so yeah um, but currently I have no special ideas I have one or two ideas but yeah gonna think about more ideas so practi uh, practically I am designing the emotes but I'm not drawing them because I am so bad at drawing. So I really literally draw like a five year old. So I cannot draw at all. And Droman, hey, uh, I said hello to you already, right? Um, and XS Twitch, welcome. So, oh, I have one more. Red onion. You're doing well, that's good. If you can make a line, then you're an artist. No, it's not as easy as that. So, I couldn't have drawn these emotes that I have now. So, the Amsel Heart, all the emotes I have, I couldn't have done them. Not at all. You're talking about me. Thank you. So yeah, um, like I told everyone before already, um, I felt super destroyed. I came home. Um, I learned a lot today, like yesterday and the whole week. And um, I felt so destroyed. And I didn't have energy, but then everyone was being sad. Everyone was writing, I miss your streams. Um, you got own said that he misses me even though I hate him and I told him what I don't hate you <laughs> and um, Then uh, yeah, you got own complained and he was sad other people like Almiria and Droman also inspired me to stream so They were all really uplifting also Queen Leilani So and just talking to you guys in discord gave me more energy and so then I thought Whatever, I can do it. I can just lift myself up, clean the kitchen, and then be here with you guys.
Okay, you saw a German streamer that couldn't draw. Guess she pointed it out. Uh, oh, you pointed it out. Okay. And then she banned you. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't consider you as the most polite person to want, so I guess she she didn't like the way that you just pointed out that she cannot draw. So I think art is also very subjective because uh, when an artist is drawing a picture, then you can always say, okay, that picture looks ugly. But another person says that picture is beautiful because, yeah, for example, like, let's take a picture that is black and spooky and um, one person says, oh, I don't like that picture, it's spooky and so it's ugly. And another person says, wow, what a spooky cool picture, I love it. So it depends on um, how you view it. <coughs> Once a Brussels sprout stream. Why not? Why not? And Ryan the Ghost. Welcome. Or Ryan the Ghost. I don't know how you want me to pronounce it. <coughs> okay. But yeah, you know, with streaming, it doesn't depend on if someone can draw perfectly or if someone can cook perfectly or. Uh, Nana Terra, thanks for the follow. So it really doesn't matter that they are perfect in what they are doing, but it matters that they connect with people and that they are there for them. So, and um, yeah, she saw your message. So that means she was interacting with her viewers and yeah, trying to communicate. And so I think, um, even though you say that she cannot draw, I think she did a good job with um, talking and connecting. Um, something is wrong there. Yeah, I mean, when I say my opinion, which is not so popular. So, for example, when I want to criticize someone, I always try to wrap up my criticism in, yeah, in Vietnamese they would say you wrap up your criticism in flowers. So that's a saying in, in Vietnam, that you wrap up your criticism in flowers. Meaning that, um, if you take it metaphorically, of course, that you try to describe your criticism in a very polite way and a way that is not hurting people as much. So that's how I do it usually. When I criticize people, I try to first find something that I find cool and um, very, very nice what they're doing. And then I make a bit of criticism. And then again, I say, um, yeah, but this and that is very cool of you. So I first say, hey, that and that is cool and then but that's not so much cool and then but the other thing is cool again so yeah so that's how I say it because I don't want to hurt people so I want to be honest but I do not want to hurt people and um, yeah that is difficult art is a controversial topic you study game studies and you want to defend the fact that games are art by showing case studies of artistic games. Okay, so yeah, um, you had this project, right? You had this game project. You wrote me something about it in a private message. It's been a while, I think over one year already. She simply said that your route <laughs> is over. Yeah, okay, well then. I don't know how you were writing that message, so I cannot judge. I cannot judge. I am a mature person and she is just a grown child. Um, it depends. Some people on Twitch are not that old, so there are 16 years old on the Twitch, so could be that she was 15 or 16. 
So how should someone be really mature with 15 or 16? Of course you can always say, hey, they are mature for their age. So they say, hey, you're 16, but for your age, you're very mature. But still, these people are missing life experiences. And me, I still am missing some experiences. Yes, you, you sent me the information about that game. Um, have you finished that game already, Ifurito? So, have you finished programming that game? Oh, she was around 24 and she acted like 16. Well, that happens. So, <laughs> could be. Um, okay. You want to get a bigger degree than just bachelor. You want to go for master. That's a good goal. You aim for doctor even. Okay. She could have simply said that you are entitled to your opinion. <laughs> yeah, and other people have other opinions, right? So last time we were discussing um, lipstick. I was wearing red lipstick. And there were guys here who didn't like it. And I told them, it's okay that you don't like it, but sometimes I like to wear red lipstick because um, on some days I just feel like doing it. So today I didn't feel like it. Um, I just put on some cocoa butter, so 100% cocoa butter. So just a bit of cocoa oil onto my lips because they are very dry. But um, I didn't feel like, hey! <laughs> Thank you so much, XS Twitch, for your 2 euro energy hype. Thank you very much for supporting the goal. Where is it? Ah, there. Thank you very much for supporting the goal of the outdoor stream equipment. So guys, make sure to spam some love in the chat for XS Twitch. Um, yeah, I want to stream outside soon. I want to show you the lovely landscape of Germany. Um, some castles, for example, strawberry fields. When I'm sitting in the train driving to my parents, when I'm in the garden of my parents, so stream from everywhere, not being chained to my apartment. <clears throat> Even ugliness is an art. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Sometimes it's also boring when you see <clears throat> the same faces um, in commercials all the time, like like um, these perfect faces, and um, yeah, sometimes that's boring. You know, when it's too perfect, when it almost looks like a computer generated. He's risking a lot on that project. Oh, okay. He's also risking his mood, right? When he's designing a depressive game. I can imagine that when you're designing such a game that it draws you in. It really consumes you. Because for designing a game, you have to be part of the game. It's like writing a book. When you're writing a book, you also have to feel it. You have to feel the story. You have to be inside the book. So, like when Joanne K. Rowling was writing Harry Potter, she had to feel the story. She had to feel the characters. She had to be there. Otherwise, how can you... Hey! <laughs> Friedness, auto-hosting again, right? Seven viewers, thank you as always for your auto host. And for all of you guys who don't know Tridemare, he's an excellent streamer. He is very communicative, he is very interactive. Um, usually, always wears Kigurumis, so Japanese costumes. And he is dancing when he's reaching his follower goal. So, yeah. If you want to see 
a dancing man in a Kigurumi than fall a tried mare. That moment when you meet my parents, or is it too soon? No, I don't think you will see my parents on stream. But my sister, she will hopefully be coming back in summer. So visiting me here, doing a duo stream, that would be cool. Um, you can talk to a boat owner and ask if you can stream from a ship on the Rhine. Wow. But um, yeah, depends on how much the boat owner wants for that. Nirvana, welcome! Are you on first name terms with Joanne K. Rowling? What do you mean? First name terms. Sorry, I cannot follow up. English is not my native language, so... Just explain me what you, what you mean with that. So, my first name, my real first name is Francisca. Don't know if you meant that. Um, the Outcast game 2, ooh. I remember Outlast, uh, the game 1. I completely sucked at it. And if you don't believe me, go to my Best of Gold Amsel videos. I have made 4 and it's the second video. Scary scenes and you will see me playing Outlast, the scary moments. And after 8 times playing one scene, over and over again, I quit. So there was just one scene where I just couldn't escape the monster. So I had to quit. <laughs> oh, you assumed? Okay, just because I... Yeah. Sometimes when you're reading a book and you're so into a book, a novel, then... Um, yeah, when, when you're feeling the story, when you're inside, then you can also think of how the author must have felt during the writing process. And then, um, yeah, you feel closer to that person, even though you do not know that person. And Dr. Solo Q, welcome! Did you fill up all the seats for Sushi Night for your meetup? Um, I have exactly 10 people who are 100% sure that they are gonna join. And then seven people are not 100% sure. So out of these seven people, I don't know who will come and who not. So I have to ask them again. But yeah, whoever wants to come to that meeting Friday 19th of May, please contact me and <clears throat> then I will make sure to save some seats. Um, Kaliria, I wanted to make... Oh! Oh! Emo! No! It's not Emo Miu, it's Iridine! <laughs> hey! Um, can't join you today, but have a great stream and great weekend! Francie! Thank you so much! Thank you very much! I thought it was Emo Miyu because last time it was Emo Miyu who scared me so much. Guys! We have a big spender donation here! 20 euros from Irodin! Thank you so so much for a wonderful supportive donation! Thank you! Guys, <sighs> the donation went straight into this goal here for outdoor stream equipment. Thank you very much, dear Iridine, and enjoy your day at Disney World. I know he's at Disney World, um, the coolest place in Florida. So thank you very much, Iridine, for your support. And yeah, guys, make sure to spam some love in the chat, please. <laughs> no, the stream was not over. Um, yeah, it was the donation animation. I have 
a row of different ones because I want, yeah, I don't want it to be boring. Yeah, I want that all alerts are something special. So I have the Candyman one from 2 to 20. It's Candyman um, with the confetti rain. And then in between are some special alerts. 666, you can send people to hell with their profile picture and their name. And then um, with their Twitch name. And you can sa save them with 7 euro 77. And then you can be a wizard and um, kind of do some magic trick, let your profile picture pop out of a magician hat, and um, yeah, that's 1313. And then there's a special one for 5 euros 11, which is the superhero alert, because there is actually for 511 you can call the heroes in the USA. And I thought, okay, that's cool, 511, I will make that a superhero alert. Because, yeah, some numbers need to have special meanings, so that one was special. And then there are also different donation alerts when you go up. Three, oh, yeah, three year of uh, bachelor studies, design, humanities, art studies. What am I making? Um, it's a very, very easy dish. Just these ingredients are required. Um, I'm baking a roast fish. I have just cut some onions and shallots. So red onions and shallots mixed together. Oh, I forgot half of an onion. I need to drink, guys. My throat is so dry. And uh, so, yeah, I will bake the roast fish in some aluminium foil um, in a package with sliced lemon pepper, salt, and of course onions and dill. And um, so it's gonna be a fresh roast fish. So the lemon is keeping it fresh and the dill is adding some nice flavor. And then I'm gonna make a mushroom cream sauce and fried potatoes. Okay, now let's go on with cutting the mushrooms and I have some really huge mushrooms here today you see they are super huge did something drop here I will take a piece of tissue Tariyasu, welcome! <coughs> Close to portobello mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms. I will take a look at the label. It says, um. No. So, it's not portobello. But it could be that it looks similar. Yeah from Germany, German mushrooms. Whose kitchen are you cooking in? It's so pretty. Are you serious, Nana Terra? Thank you. It's my own kitchen. When I moved into this apartment, then um, yeah, it was already there. And thank you for that compliment because usually every single stream, someone is popping in saying, oh my gosh, your kitchen looks so small. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. And that's what they are saying. So every single stream someone is popping in. Can you believe it? Every single stream I get this, your kitchen is so small. Never seen those kind of mushrooms. Yeah, they are super huge, right? So, but you will see, they will be a bit smaller now in a moment. You thought it was my parents. No, I'm not living with my parents anymore. So I think that would be weird or at least not weird. Some people have no choice, but um, I'm 28 years old and with 28 years, I don't want to live with my parents anymore. So I'm peeling the mushrooms so they are not soaking water. 
that's what you can do. Just peel them and you can see the difference already, right? So yeah, I have cuts everywhere. Here, I cut myself while cutting mushrooms. <laughs> and then, oh man. Yeah, I hope my hands are gonna heal fast. The viewer meeting is in three weeks. And I hope I'm not clumsy anymore. So, so you see the difference? Here's the peeled mushroom and here's the other one. Do you have a culinary degree? And you like my chef jacket too? No, I have not. So I have this jacket because it's super comfy and can be washed at 60 degrees Celsius. And um, yeah, but I'm a passionate chef. And um, if you wanna check out some of the dishes I cooked on stream here, there's goldamsel.tv, type it in your web browser and you will find my blog with all the dishes I cooked this year. Well, tiny is relative. If they live in America and maybe have a fridge that's bigger than your closet, then it's normal that they think it's very small, yeah. So you peel the mushrooms like that. Because if you wash them, like I said, it's soaking water like a sponge. And you don't want that. You don't want your mushrooms to taste like water. They lose flavor. Um, in Italy, there are plenty of people which live with their families until 35 to 40. Okay. Well, it's different from culture to culture. And um, But here in Germany, when you're 28 and still living with your parents, then um, you are considered as not being confident enough or not being um, independent enough to live somewhere else. But of course, when you're 28 or 30 and you do not have enough money, then it's of course necessary sometimes to live with your parents. So I also know some people that still live with their parents because of course when they are studying and um, yeah, if I would be studying in the city of my parents, maybe then if I also would be single, if I would be single and be studying in the city of my parents, then I would be living at their home, probably, but yeah. Many cultures do that. Seeing you peel mushrooms kind of hurt. You just brush them. Yeah, I should get that brush, right? So, just slicing the mushrooms. Yeah, also, for example, in Vietnam, it's it's just common. So in Vietnam, I have um, some friends of my mom living there and they also have children and a son that is 33 years old. And the son, even though he is 33, he's still living with his parents. So yeah, a cheap toothbrush works fine. All right, how would it look like when I'm standing here in my kitchen with a cheap toothbrush, but I'm gonna try, okay? Um, good evening, Cat. welcome. Yeah, it's really a good trick. So thank you, Tariyasu. Or just a paper towel, yeah. When I have brown mushrooms, I usually do that with a paper towel. Look, they are super huge. Neon pancakes, thank you for the follow. So, are your eyes tearing because. Uh, no, no, usually not. Just when there are really spicy onions. But um, I usually keep the root when I'm cutting the onions. So, oh yeah. I can show you here, I forgot this one. So I keep it. I'm gonna remove the skin though. Yeah, it's usually better for the mushrooms not to wash them. Yeah. And also not to peel them. Alright, I'm gonna try that next time. I'm gonna stand here 
literally with a toothbrush and brushing mushrooms, okay? So you can remember me. You can remind me, I mean. You can remind me to do this. A toothbrush would look funny, yeah. I would even do my stream invitation video with <laughs> with a toothbrush. So today, in my stream invitation, I was waving this really <laughs> huge spoon. I was waving it and saying, the award goes to food. The happiness award goes to food. So I was doing it much better in my stream in invitation. If you don't believe me, just go watch. It's on my social media. I always make a stream invitation before I stream every time to just say, hey, today I'm there, today I'm live, and sometimes I sing. It depends on my mood and what pops into my head. So I always try to come up with something new. Hey Miru, have you seen my stream invitation where I'm waving with your wooden spoon that you gifted me to my birthday? So if not, you need to take a look at it. Um, hey, oopsie, welcome. How often do I stream? It depends. It depends. So this week was pretty busy for me. So this is, yeah, this is the first stream this week because I was really busy. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to stream more often. So next stream is going to be on Monday. Okay, so Saturday, Sunday, I'm at my parents' home and I cannot stream from there, unfortunately. That's why I made this goal so that soon in the future I will be able to stream from my parents' home. Outdoor stream equipment is the goal. And yeah, then I will be sitting in their garden and stream from their garden. And Skull Castle, welcome! You love the spoon, me too! Can you read it? Just, just add love. Just add love. It's written right here. My fingers are purple. So peaceful? Yeah. That's how it should be here. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, you can link it to me, Tariyasu. The page shitty rigs about filmmaking equipment. Good. Alright. Um, now let's slice some... Um, let's slice some... Lemon. Ghost movie scene with clay? <laughs> How is that supposed to work? So, are you serious? Yeah, just um, after the stream, Tariyasu, you can post it on Discord. So, then I will check on it and Queen Leilani can check on it too. Just post it under hashtag media in the Discord group. Yeah, and everyone who's new to the stream, Everyone who doesn't know that Discord is free for everyone, just join my Discord, please. And um, exclamation my Discord in the chat and then you will get an invitation link. First time here and it's so relaxing. Plus, you love how passionate I am when she's explaining something in depth. Yeah! Yeah, I love, I love to read. I still love to read, but um, now I do not find as much time anymore. But um, in the past, yeah, one book a day, especially um, detective books. Is Ezra? Two months in a row. I'm gonna wash my hands in a moment. Two months in a row. Purple finger hype. Guys, make sure to spam some love in the chat. 
for Ezezero, who got sharp angelic wings. Thank you. Thank you for your resubscription. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ezezero. And Wicked Fairy, welcome. Oh, ghost movie, there's a scene with play. Okay. I cannot say anything to that because I haven't watched that movie. Um, yeah, now let's wash some wonderful lemons. Should I switch to my camera? Let's try it out. Let's try out this can. If it's still working or not, I don't know if it's still working. The sink can. No, it's not working! <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotta switch back. Oh, that was the oven cam anyways! I didn't want to trigger the oven cam. I wanted to trigger the sink cam. Perfect. So... Okay, I think now that's perfect. Yeah. Nice. Good. Um... That's perfect. Um... Did you ever read Raymond Chandler? Oopsie, no, I didn't. But yeah, um, like I told you guys, if you want to post me something, um, do it in Whisper, and then I will check it out after the stream, or on the next day. So, these are organic lemons. But still, you need to wash them, of course, but I will use them with the skin. But not all of them. I don't need all of them. Just two. You love the little girl's soap dispenser. Yeah, she's so cute, right? Yay for organic, yeah. Because I want to use the lemon skin as well. I want to put it in to a nice aluminium foil package. I need to get rid of the purple color from the onions, so... Alright. Now, washing the lemons. So, he created the stories around private detective Philip Marlowe. Okay, so um, I have read the detective stories from the three, I don't know if they are called like that in English as well, but in German they were called the three question marks. I don't know if they were called like that in the USA or somewhere else. And Rambo Zambo, welcome! slice them. Oh, and of course I should preheat the oven. 200 degrees Celsius. So, 
And now these wonderful, yeah, good smelling lemons will be sliced. Wait, gotta get rid of hair here. So, yeah, that's why you should keep your hair in a ponytail or in a bun when you're cooking. Kawaii! Thanks for the follow! Oh, the three investigators! Thank you! Oh yeah, three question marks? Um, sounds a bit weird, I know. But yeah, that's how they are called here in Germany. So. This bot is pure evil. Okay. You fight on and you won't give up. <laughs> Okay, I will see who's gonna win. Entire movie was filmed using an iPhone, the movie Tangerine, and it's on Netflix now. Have you heard that Netflix wants to make a Death Note movie? They already released a trailer and um, I don't like the cast at all. So, L is supposed to be someone who is very introvert, very chill, um, and yeah, he is lacking sleep, so he has dark circles under his eyes, and yeah, he's a very special introvert person, and then they took someone for the cast for that movie that seems to be an extrovert. And um, he seems to be so self-confident and yeah, L is also self-confident in a way, but he is more an introvert. And then for Light Yagami, they took a person that already looks like someone who's a bad boy. So Light Yagami is supposed to be the perfect man, the, the really flawless man, flawless face. Um, a plus student, the best student in his whole school, super intelligent, so all the moms would love him, yeah, every every mom would want him to marry her daughter, so that's who Light Yagami is, someone who seems to be perfect, someone who looks flawless, and then they took a person um, that already looks like a bad boy, and who everyone would think of, okay, he is the one who did it, he's the one who committed the crime, the murder. And yeah, I don't know if you have heard of it and if you have seen the trailer of Death Note or if you even know about Death Note. If you do not know about Death Note, make sure to watch the anime. It's pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> the three investigators are not that popular outside of Germany. I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, maybe someone can answer that. Are they popular outside of Germany? And Velvet! Velvet, thank you so much for 13 viewers. I think this is a real host, not only an outer host, right? Thank you, Velvet, for your wonderful host this year is Velvet Lollipop and um, she's a wonderful streamer she's streaming League of Legends and she's very kind so if you're here Velvet say something so people can click on your name and follow you thank you for the host <coughs> oh the director had no budget so that's why he used an iPhone to stream it. Okay, yeah, sometimes you need to find other solutions. You have not heard of that anime. It's super intense and everyone who likes detective stories is gonna love it. Yeah, Death Note. Oh, Mystic Saint, um, could you please link a Death Note link in the chat so um, people can go and watch that wonderful anime right after I have finished my stream because it's super 
Wonderful. Um, if you don't believe me, just watch the very first episode of it. It's only 20 minutes. Yeah, take 20 minutes to watch the first episode and watch it till the end. And if you're not convinced, okay, you don't need to watch it. But I, I can assure you, you are going to watch all, I think, 35 episodes, 30 episodes. It's really nice. Um, Dill. We need Dill, of course. And parsley. Why not? Let's wash both of them. Or other parsley. I also have some other parsley here. Or maybe just dill. Ah. So, I have dill. I have this smooth parsley, parsley and this uh, other kind of parsley. Which is riffled. Um. It is an American series. Um, no, the the Death Note anime is not American, but the movie that's gonna come out is American. It's Japanese. Exclamation mark recipe! There is no exclamation mark menu or recipe or exclamation mark cooking. Um, a few days after I have cooked something on stream, I will post it there on my blog, goldamsel.tv, and then you can check it out. What's today's menu? Welcome. Oh, okay. Okay, you were talking about the three investigators being an American series. Ah, okay, so it is popular. It is popular in the USA then. Good to know. You will check it out. Perfect. So, got to sneeze. So, excuse me. All right. Uh, what is today's menu? Um, I have, wait, I'm gonna switch the scene for you to see. I have cut some onions, shallots. Here you can see. Onions, shallots are in this bowl. Then slice some lemons. And then here I have some mushrooms. And what else do I need? Not so much anymore. Some dill. And then we're ready. Oh, thank you, Miru, for linking the first episode of Death Note. Thank you. You only know the audiobooks. Okay, I have read all the books. I have read it when I was at school and... Well, not during the lessons, of course, during the breaks. So, here's the nice dill. I need it for the fish packages. So herbs already look clean, but you have to make sure to wash them anyways, because you never know what's on them, dust or little insects maybe or whatever. And then some parsley. Parsley for the fried potatoes and um, the mushroom sauce. So, 
I evenly rotate it so the water is coming everywhere. So, yep. into the trash <laughs> all right <clears throat> your two granddaughters love anime are you serious? You have granddaughters? So how old are you, Nana Tira? And that's cool that you're watching Twitch. So if you're a grandma and watching Twitch, that's really cool. There's a German grandma on YouTube and on Twitch, by the way, and she's 82 years old and she's streaming how she's reading fairy tales. And that's really cool. So she has a huge fan base. <coughs> Yeah, that's that's true. Oh, you're 52. You're young at heart. Okay. Okay, so then you're not that old. Who is she? Oh, you would love to watch her, but do you understand German? <coughs> you want to watch her too? Um, I'm going to link her on Discord, okay? I'm going to link her on my Discord. But yeah, it's cool that you have granddaughters. Um, so yeah, let's do some packages. Ah, first of all, I need to cut dill. Need to cut dill and parsley. Let's take out the bowl. So type in exclamation mark discord and join my discord. Currently it's disabled to write there, but um, after the stream, I'm then going to link it. Now I'm a believer. Hey. Oh, you got Twitch affiliate. Wow. That's cool, Goku. That's cool that Twitch made this uh, affiliate feature because now more streamers can have emotes. And also, um, what else do you get, Goku? What else do you get? You get many special features, right? Yeah, congratulations, Goku. So chopping the dill I don't need it too small so just like this so. huh I haven't upset you why should you no Today everyone thinks I hate them, I upset them. You know that on Discord, um, the guy you got owned, the pilot guy, he he was upset because he thought that I hate him. And I told him, what? Why would I hate you? There is no reason to hate you, you got owned. And um, he said that he doesn't know why he has that feeling. And I was like, what? <laughs> And no, you did not upset me. Why would you? One of the mods is just a power abuser and it's not nice. Well, mods are there to um, swing their green knife around. So they have this uh, green sword, green sword in front of their name. And that's um, a 
symbol that they should make use of. I think it's your entity. Oh yeah, you know when I like someone, cat, then I also want them to like me. So I know what you're talking about because whenever we like someone, then it's just we want that person to like us as well. Um, because I think it's somehow that we want to receive back what we give. So, and also we don't want to be disappointed, right? When we have some certain feelings for someone, we want that feeling to be shared from both sides. Um, yeah, of course. Of course you shouldn't only swing your sword around. No, that's that's just um I didn't mean it too serious when I said that, okay? So they shouldn't be literally swinging their swords around. <laughs> he was breaking the rules, okay? So I couldn't see his message. It was deleted. But um the moderators always check the messages and if they think it was rude, then they delete it. And hey, PG Interrupted, welcome back! Yeah, talking about mods, just another moderator joined. And Dr. Diehard, welcome back. Shooter Tree, um, currently cutting parsley, as you can see. And, um, wait, I'm switching to the full screen. You must uh, oh! Sven! Eighty euros? You are the very first person that ever triggered this alert! The very first person! Wow! Stream goal hype! Thank you so much! That is so cool! Wow! Hey! Guys, make sure to spam lots and lots and lots of love in the chat for Swen, 80 euros going straight to the donation goal of outdoor stream equipment. Wow, this was the first time someone triggered the 80 euro alert. Yeah, the very first time. Thank you so much, dear Swen. I, I have her fingers, but yeah. Thank you, I cheer to you, these hands. Um, thank you very much for 80 euros for the stream goal. So, yeah, I think we had almost <laughs> every alert now, except for the 1000 euro alert. But now we had almost every alert. So the 80 euro alert was finally triggered. Thank you so much. Yes, Sven is rocking, so lots of love. In the chat for Sven, please. Thank you so, so much. That is really a generous donation. And I hope you liked it, everyone. So I was looking for an alert. So between 80 and 100. And I wanted something which is similar to Big Spender. Big Spender is 20 euros up. But I didn't want it to be super similar. I wanted it to be a bit more special. So yeah, thank you for being a star. Thank you, Sven. Yes, today I have a lot of first alerts. So, Anti triggered the $9.99 and $24.99 subscription alert for the first time, and Sven was triggering the 80 euro donation alert for the first time. So, and that's all thanks to you guys because you guys gave me the energy, all the people who wrote to me in Discord and were like, hey, come on, we want you to stream, we miss your streams. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna stream. And yeah, now I'm here and I will have a nice meal soon. And I'm smelling the herbs, the freshness. Three is a charm, yeah. Three alerts for the first time. Oh, I don't have much space here. Wait, so. Some people told me I should make it do a cooking stream, but actually um, here, around here, there's only 
80 centimeters. Yeah, only space for one person. Oh, uh, what am I cooking now? Oh yeah, right, shooter three. Um, herbs here, dill herbs, parsley, lemon, onion and um, shallots. And here are mushrooms. And I'm gonna make a baked rose fish. So wrapped up in aluminium foil with lemon, pepper, salt, onions and dill. And then some fried potatoes with a mushroom cream sauce. Creamed mushroom sauce, yeah. Some mods just want to protect her. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Meru. You hear some fireworks? <laughs> oh, people are more than half a year too early. So, there. What? What is with no Rambo Zambo? So, I am gonna make the packages now. I'm gonna wrap up the fish. But first I need to wash the fish. So, ah, I need to switch scene. No, no chicken. No chicken. Have I forgotten about something? Nope. So I'm taking out some tissue here. And this here is from Deutsche Z. Deutsche Z. Okay, this is no advertising, of course. So I, I have no sponsor. Um, I just wanted to tell you where I got it. And uh, Deutsche Z is a very well-known and good brand. So I just wanted to show you that I get my meat and my fish from good brands. So I'm washing the fish now and putting it onto the paper towel. Okay, you can also get recipes on their website. Perfect. Nice. So, and it's from the deep sea, okay? So, it comes from the sea, not out of some mass production. So, alright. With QR code again? No, that was Follow Fish. Follow Fish had the QR code, but uh, Deutsche See doesn't have it. At least I didn't see it. Who was that fella with the cinematic skills? Which one? You mean switching the scenes? This is my soundboard. Why is fish wrapped in plastic? So yeah, you gotta transport it. Is fish expensive in Germany? Um, it depends on the brand and it depends on the kind of fish. So, um, oh, wait, I'm pressing the button, it's not changing? Okay, I didn't press hard enough, okay, all right. <coughs> it depends on the kind of fish. So if you buy tuna in a can, for example, so canned tuna is pretty cheap, but um, if you buy tuna steak, it's pretty expensive. Also, you can get salmon steak, pretty cheap, for just 3 euros, but if you buy it from different brands, then it's 6 euros, or you can also get a big salmon like this for 100 euros, 
But uh, who's gonna eat all of that? So... Not me. <laughs> yes, there are special deep sea fishes like... Um, how is that fish called? The sea devil, right? The sea devil is pretty dangerously looking. I don't know that uh, clay movie scene from the movie Ghost. Is it a horror movie? Yeah, sea devil. Sea devil is one of the um, expensive fishes. Yeah. The one with the lamp on its head. But of course, um, the head is being removed. Yeah, before they sell the fish, they always remove the head because that fish looks so horrifying. <laughs> really? Just just Google that fish and you will see the teeth like claws. Rambo Zambo! I have her fingers still. Glittering her fingers now. Two months in a row. Thank you so much for your resubscription and your fluffy devilish wings. Thank you! My herb fingers are saying thank you to you, Rambo Zambo. Thank you. Yeah, lots of hype for Rambo Zambo from PG Interrupted. Yeah, it can be eaten. I have once in my life eaten that sea devil and um, I guess you're so surprised because it looks so freaking scary, right, Cat? And um, yeah, they remove the head and then the fish is super yummy. Really, it's some light, delicate fish. <laughs> it's that scary fish from Finding Nemo. Yeah, it's super delicious. Exactly. So, I am taking out the foil. Okay, you survived the bot. Yeah. Wait, did my dishwasher beep already? Okay, I can just season the fish here on my wooden board. So, I'm gonna take it to the board. Oh, okay. So Rambo Zambo also had a sea devil. I can confirm it's delicious. And now, salt, pepper. I have to season the fish. So I think I'm also gonna take some mustard gonna be super delicious. I have some mild mustard here. It's um, slightly sour, slightly mild um, and some mustard is always a bit spicy but this one is not really spicy. It is having some corns here as you can see. So it's a really rustic. Why is my ear tickling? Okay. That was, uh, I guess that looked like when cats are scratching their <laughs> ears. <laughs> um, there. I need a brush. Yeah, there are some fishes that are poisonous. So, um, in German, there's this one fish that can blow itself up, so it's called Kugelfish. So, is it blowfish? So, it's just blowing itself up, and um, that's a poisonous fish. 
Oh, Sully, thanks for the follow. Yeah, also the classic mustard is quite good. So, um, I usually buy the classic mustard, or uh, here this is Alonchien. So, ancient mustard. Whole grain mustard, thank you. So, I keep in mind this one is called whole grain mustard. So it's cool. I can always learn when I'm streaming. It's called Pufferfish? That's such a cute name for such a poisonous fish. It's called Pufferfish. Okay. Yeah. Very, very irritating name when you think of this poisonous animal and then... <laughs> Huh, it's focusing off on the trash. I should get rid of this anyways now. So, let's get rid of all of these. So I have more space. Teaspoon fish. Bit more, maybe. It amazes me how fish so deep in the sea can create lights. <laughs> yeah. I have to inform myself about that because I find it pretty interesting. So. A bit of pepper. And also a bit of salt. And now... We'll turn it around. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I hope it sticks and doesn't fall off. So. Wow. <laughs> it's easy. They use just LED lamps. Not some random YouTube video? You don't get suckered by clickbait? What clickbait are you talking about? I know nowadays um, clickbait seems to be the key. So I think a bit of clickbait is okay. Um, and also a bit of mustard. Don't put on too much mustard, okay? Even though this is mild mustard, you don't want to overpower the flavor. So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. So, it doesn't need to cover everything. Um, yeah, I need to wash hands. And these lemons go into the package as well. So, I can touch them with my mustard fingers because they will be touching the mustard anyways. Thank you, Cat. So I have removed this because now I'm gonna make the packages. <laughs> Cop the noodle! Six viewers! Auto host! No, not auto host! It's a real host! Thank you so much, Cop the noodle, for your wonderful host. Welcome to the stream everyone, I'm making baked fish with some mustard, dill and lemon and also yeah, a creamed mushroom sauce. Oh, and I should start with the mushroom sauce now. 
Um, yeah. I'm heating up the stove here with this pot. Putting in a bit of butter. I will take the butter with rapeseed oil. Yeah, always take um, either clarified butter or butter with rapeseed oil because um, it's not gonna burn that easily. Oh, it was you again, Ana Yoshino. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ah, okay, that's what you meant. So yeah. That's why um, only subscribers can post links because I don't want that just anyone who just freshly tunes in, for example, haters or trolls can post videos and um, yeah. It is always Yoshino. Okay, she is too lazy to host people. Let's get some positivity in here. You want a love spam? Yeah, that's true. You are so right. So, I'm waving my magic wand. And then... Yeah, PG is, PG is right. Thank you for mentioning it, dear PG. So let's do this. These wonderful fishies here. Yeah. Wiping away all the negativity. Yeah. All right. One for every fish. We go a lot better, yeah. So, and Wicked Fairy has some cute, are these dogs? Some cute doggy hearts. <laughs> oh, that's the one you can't see, and the other direction. So, like this. And now, let's put some nice shallots on top. Shallots and onions mixed together. To cook some authentic Thai food for us. Yes, of course. Um, on Discord, there is um, a hashtag recipe ideas group now, and you can just post it on Discord. So, nice. So. And now some dill. Welcome to the stream. And now some wonderful lemon slices. So, just giving some freshness. Okay. I don't even need the smaller ones anymore. But yeah. I will just place them here. Wonderful, right? 
So, washing hands. Thank you for the follow, Uina. <coughs> Onions and spice only one set of fish. Um, there's also mustard on the other side, but of course I cannot put... Um, I could put the onions under the fish, yes, but would make no sense. Also, it wouldn't look that nice. So there's mustard on both sides and then just the onions go on top and everything else as well so um. oh okay wicked fairy have a wonderful evening or afternoon or whatever time it is at your place and yeah thank you for stopping by Yes, sandwich fish style. And crowded kitchen, welcome. So, there we go. And this dish is super easy, as you could see. go so and this is my ingredients list so <laughs> it's not much what you need a bit of mustard dill rose fish onions pepper salt so then these bags here go into the oven for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes, two hundred degrees Celsius. And meanwhile, I am now gonna show you the stove and make the mushroom cream sauce. So the butter is sizzling. Oh, the cam is still grey. It's gonna change in a moment, don't worry. I'm putting in the wonderful shallots and onions. And I'm also gonna heat up the stove slowly for the fried potatoes. Here, this one is an iron pan, so I need to heat it up slowly. Otherwise, uh, it breaks. This portion for only one person? No, for two persons. Always for two persons, but yeah. Sometimes also for four persons, then I cook a bit more and eat it the next day. So, butter sizzling. And I will sprinkle in just a bit of oil to make sure the butter is not going to burn. So, can you see it sizzling? mushrooms as well you can of course cut the mushrooms a bit smaller as you can see I just sliced them but you can also yeah cut them or chop them whatever you like <coughs> so 
So just like this. And then I will put in some salt, of course. I like to take my pink salt. Two pinches of salt. So, and now just let it go for a while. And then I'm gonna add some cream. Wonderful cream cheese. It was, it was already sizzling, so it was already frying the onions. But you cannot see it on the camera. I think the distance, it's too far away. But it was having these bubbles, so it was bubbling, sizzling, and they were already frying a bit. And they still are, because they are below the mushrooms. So at the moment, it's only the onions frying, and then I will stir it up, and then it's gonna be the mushrooms as well. Okay, now let's slice and cut the potatoes. But first I take out a small bowl and store the slices in here. I'm gonna leave one lemon slice out for later, for decoration purposes. So, there. Gonna wash the board. You got your smartphone today, but you cannot use it because... Wait, I cannot read the last part. I'm too far away. I will come to the front in a moment. Oh, you need a nano sim card. Not a micro sim like you had before. <coughs> Thank you, Irina. Thank you. You have to wait until Wednesday. Until they send you. And yeah, Monday is an official holiday here in Germany. Monday is the 1st of May and it's a holiday. I don't know if you guys in the USA or somewhere else, if you have holiday too on the 1st of May. So now, let's stir up all these mushrooms and the onions. And I will put some Herbe de Provence, some wonderful Herbe de Provence, into the mushroom cream sauce. Well, it's not a cream sauce yet, but I'm gonna add some cream in a moment. <coughs> it's also a holiday in the UK, okay. And hey, poof cakes, welcome. Start the lemon slices. I always take a bit of foil and I'm gonna turn up the heat for the fried potatoes. So, just like this, and then it stays nice and fresh in the fridge. 
Yeah, sometimes you can just press out the nano sim card. That's right. That's right. But yeah, I think he was very unlucky. <laughs> Rambo Sambo was very unlucky then. Not on your card, yeah. Okay, perfect. I, I'm gonna switch now to the stove cam. So, oh no, that was the sink cam. I apologize. That was the sink cam. Yeah, you see? Definitely sink cam. But yeah. Now it is the stove cam. Now, you see? There's water from the mushrooms and that's the time when you put in the cream cheese. Or you can also use normal cream or creme fraiche, whatever cream you like, whatever cream you prefer. Just use that cream. And then it's gonna mix up with the mushroom juice and get nice and creamy. You see? It's a very easy sauce to make. So it's about 100 grams or 100 milliliters. So, there you go. Oh, and I should speed up with cutting the potatoes. <coughs> uh, no, it's a normal um, electronic stove. So, it's not an electric cooker. You like thick food. What cream am I using? That was cream cheese. But uh, you can use normal cream or yeah, any cream you like to, creme fraiche, any cream you want to. So, your old phone is still working. Okay, so you're not that unlucky then. So, and I'm using the potatoes with the skin because these are organic potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna use the bowl I used for the mushrooms earlier. Reducing the heat here. Now I have to speed up with cutting all the potatoes here. The old one is just slow. Yeah. I am so happy that I now have a proper smartphone. I got one um, from my mom as a birthday gift. And um, it's working properly, finally. Mm. Oh, uh, Hawaii P10. I have never heard of that phone. Oh, I hear the oil. I hear the oil cracking. There's a crackling sound and that means it's hot. So I have to make it fast. Of course, always take care when you speed up that you do not cut your fingers. Okay, so not like I did. So I have cut here, cut here. I think like four cuts or so. But they all happen off stream. So I think it never happened on stream that I cut my finger. <laughs> so when did you buy your first phone? At what age? 
Um, I think I had my first, not smartphone, but um, normal mobile phone, of course, because back then um, there were no smartphones available. They were not invented back then. I got my first phone with uh, 12 years, when I was 12. Just a normal mobile phone. The old Nokia one, you all know it. The one that almost everyone had. So, all the potatoes go in here. And um, be careful because the oil is attacking you otherwise. almost a bit too much for that pan it's not that big but yeah lid on but make sure to keep a little gap so water can evaporate otherwise um, the water is gonna evaporate into the pan again and then when water meets oil then it's a really expensive loading kind of uh, thing. You got your first mobile phone at 18 old times. You got yours at the age of 17. Well, that depends on how old you are now. So yeah, first mobile phone at around 18. <coughs> you were 14. Sunny Ericsson. Yeah, a brick with a small antenna. Yes, right, I still remember these. Okay, good. Um, yeah, let's not forget about the mushroom cream sauce. It's very fluid, but I want it to be a bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do now is taking a bit of cold water. Yeah, first to wash my hands, but I'm also going to take a small amount of cold water, a few tablespoons, and a bit of flour. Oh, wait, by the way, I need to check because of the fish. Okay, let's say 12 more minutes. Yeah. Let's take this here. So not too much, just a little bit of water, a few tablespoons, and I'm mixing in a bit of flour. Because as you will see now, the sauce is very fluid and we want it to be thicker. It was a break from Nokia when everyone had flip phones already, yeah. Didn't have a smartphone properly working smartphone until, yeah, last month, this month. So, as you can see, when I'm stirring it, it's pretty fluid, you see? It's pretty fluid. And I have my flour here, and it needs to be cold water, otherwise it's uh, not gonna be a smooth flour mixture. So. You stir it together, and you see it's now smooth. So I always stir it with a fork. Then you don't get so many crumbs or clumps. So, then you mix it in here. And the flour mixture is gonna bind all the water. Oh, it's even a bit too much. It gets too thick. I took a bit too much flour, but for that purpose, yeah. You can take a bit of milk. Just a bit of milk. And then it 
there it's evenly. Can also take a bit more milk. You can also take cream, of course. So take cream. Anything that's fluid. Just don't take water. You don't want it to be too watery. And now I'm gonna reduce the heat. So, and here are the f potatoes. They need to be on one side for several minutes so that they can get pretty brown and crunchy. So don't turn them around um, too often, too early. Viscosity is too damn high. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Um, I had to get some milk in here. So and now it's nice. You see? Now it's nice again. And now I will put the lid on. So, so not more water evaporates there. So and stove is on one, so it just stays warm but doesn't cook anymore. Oh, it's so nice and warm. Thank you, Cat. No, his custody is perfect. Yeah. Now it's perfect. Now let's take a look at the potatoes. They have been fried for some minutes. Let's take a look. No, not golden enough. So. And if you notice that um, there are crackling sounds, anything that's sounding disturbing, then just remove the lid for a while. And you see here, the water has evaporated onto the lid. And so there are water drops everywhere. and. Just don't get the water that's dropping down into the pan. Just drop it somewhere else, in the sink or somewhere. There. Okay, your phones just simply broke. You never flip them. You never change to another one. So, yeah, and now we're waiting 10 more minutes for the fish. And of course, also 10 more minutes for the fried potatoes because, yeah, they need about 4 minutes on each side, depending on the heat, of course. You're getting yourself a beer from the kiosk. Okay, see you in a few moments, but yeah, better be back fast because I don't know. How long it will take? It's not gonna be too long anymore. Now let's see. For presentation, I could choose um a white plate, a black plate. Let's go for a white one today. This one maybe. sure about this one. Should I take this one? Or maybe that one here. Maybe this one is even better. It's a long one, you see? I could perfectly place the fish on here. And then also the fried potatoes. Oh, five minutes only. All right. Any wine to make the show more blurry? So, do you have any wine at your place? And I can tell you why it's blurry, because um, the cam is focusing on me. 
so the background is blurry. So that's what professional cameras do. They only focus on a special object, subject, and um, then they are sharp, so I am sharp, and everything else is blurry. So that's, that's why it is that way. So when you have the web cameras, everything is on one sharpness level. But um, professional cameras make you stand out. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a professional camera. <coughs> Boki, that's the term for it. Boki. The term for um, camera sharpness, or what are you talking about, cat? <coughs> I need to drink. I didn't, didn't drink that much. You see? Just half of the glass. Oh, your wine is chilling in a bucket full of ice. Oh, that's the Japanese word for it. Boki or Boki or how do I pronounce it? Boki. Hey, Kyoto, welcome. <coughs> so, now I think I can turn them around. Yes, now they are golden and crunchy. them on this side for four minutes again about four minutes and yeah the consistency here of this sauce is very creamy and thick but not too thick I should try a bit of the sauce I'm gonna take a small spoon mushroom it's almost a crime to eat it it would be a crime not to eat it that would be a crime to waste food so you like the bokke oh kind of like okay I was somewhere else sorry so um, it's Bauke, 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 okay, I think then it's Bauke, right? You're back so fast, Rambo Zambo. So I guess, um, it's right around the corner. So. Still, steam is coming up. So, I cut my hand so often already this week, so I don't want to burn my tongue as well. Like a bow in your hair! A bow in your hair! Or bow and arrow. Okay, okay, so... Bow key. Like a bow key, like a key for your bow. Even professional photographers don't know how to pronounce it. Hey, blues music. I hope now it's not hot anymore. Yeah, let's try. Good. Okay, perfect. So, I took exactly two pinches of salt and that was the perfect amount of salt for this sauce because um, I took the uh, pink salt. 
So it's a very strong salt. This pink salt from Punjab, Pakistan. Yeah. It's a strong salt, so if you use regular salt like this one, for example, then you can take a bit more than just two pinches of salt, but um, always make sure to taste it, to try it. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Not destroying my fingers today, but hopefully also not the lid. Mac Nuggets cute. Thank you for the follow. Leave it to Japanese people to pronounce it right. Yeah. But I will check it out. I will check on it to hunt. So, it's never too late to learn. It's never too late to improve what you're doing. Your skills, no matter if language skills or whatever. So, I even heard of a woman, 92 years old, and with 92 years, she started to learn Russian. So, it's never too late. And you're probably asking yourself, 92 and then learning Russian? What is she doing with that? But hey, it's just for the fun of it. Hey, it's Wizzy! Welcome! How am I doing tonight? Fish is in the oven. Fried potatoes are in a pan. Mushroom sauce is already finished. It's just on a very, very low heat to keep it warm. And yeah, let's check the potatoes again. Ah, yeah, I can turn them around again. Switching for you to see. But yeah, like I said, when you're making fried potatoes, always make sure to wait a few minutes before you turn them. You see how nice and golden brown they are? So. So, the fish is almost ready to be served, but since I, I cannot see the fish, I will just leave it in the oven a bit longer, because um, the fish is wrapped up in some aluminium foil, and um, so I cannot check if it's already ready to be eaten or not. Are you sure you'd be a vampire rather than a Zombie, I'm having trouble imagining you with a tr theatrical Transylvanian accent. Hmm, I think I couldn't pull that off, no. So I'm not good in imitating accents. I just have my German accent. Very bold, very strong, I guess. Or not as strong anymore as it was two years ago. But I just have this bold German accent. So I cannot imitate voices very bad at it. Wouldn't you cut smaller slices for fried potatoes? Um, yeah, usually you could. You could do it. You could slice them smaller. But um, I always have the feeling that they burn too fast here in this iron pan. So um, to keep it safe, I make them a bit bigger. Oops. Some water dropped on the plate. Ah, perfect. I can use this empty potato pot for the potatoes, of course. And the way I do it is... I take this tissues here. They are soaking up 
the grease. Then I shake them. You will see in a moment. <clears throat> um, <laughs> no, no, I didn't think about getting um, infrared light. No, I have four soft boxes here and a ring light right in front of me. That's enough. So I don't need more light. When you speak Vietnamese, does your German accent go away? No. Um, when I speak Vietnamese, I still have a German accent. Yeah. People can tell immediately. And also from the way I look, people can tell immediately I'm not Vietnamese. I'm way taller than the average Vietnamese person. And um, also, yeah, from my face already. So my nose is also taller, bigger. Um, my my whole, yeah, my whole body, my whole face. But yeah, some people think I am Korean. Some people thought that I was Korean. That was a compliment. Because I have been to Korea once and um, all the Korean women there look so lovely, really, really cool. So I think that Korean women are one of the most beautiful women in the whole world because they, their style is on point. They're, I don't know, you have to go to Korea or just, just check K-pop. And um, you could say that of course not all women look like in the K-pop videos, but when you go to Seoul, the main city of South Korea, and I have been to Seoul, when you go there and you look at all the women there, pretty many women look like the ones in Korean pop music videos. Hey Mitchbaum, welcome! <coughs> yes, it's South Korea. I was there for three days. When I went to Vietnam in 2009, together with my parents. Oh, there you see how wonderfully crunchy, crispy they get. So yeah, I think they are ready now. We have many sides are now already brownish. Oh wow, we have a big host! The Hunger Service! I'm frying potatoes at the moment. And here we have creamed mushroom sauce and fishes in the oven. But guys, make sure to spam some love for the Hunger Service. We've 33 viewers. Thank you so much for the host. 30 Nexus and Anna and Chef John, welcome. And. Typhoon Justin and Sinal. Wow, I gotta remove the lid. It was making noises. Welcome everyone, thank you so much for the raid, for the host, Typhoon Justin, welcome to the stream. And um, Lil, L no, Liz, I'm sorry, not Lil, Liz Langer, hey, <laughs> Gmail, welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone. Hi. Yeah, guys, I don't know where the host alert is. Currently waiting for the host alert. Don't know where it is, but yeah. Thank you so, so much, The Hunger Service, for your host. And guys, if you want to see some delicious dishes, make sure to follow The Hunger Service, click on his name, and follow him. So. The late rate? It's it's not a late rate. You're on time. I don't know where the host alert is, but here is your love spam, the hunger service. Much much love to you. Guys, make sure to spam him some hearts in the chat because he didn't get his hosting alert. Yeah, you broke the host alert. So I will do this kind of Oh, 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 I need to take care of my potatoes. Okay. 
All right, guys. Zuna, hey. Okay. Now, let's take out a sieve. And switch the scene. Yes. Let's not burn the potatoes. So, you see these potatoes are in the pan with the skin. That's because they are organic potatoes. I'll let them drip off through a sieve. And then they go into this wonderful pot with some tissues. So, it soaks up the oil. And I cover it with a lid. So. I turned off the stove already. So yeah. When you have organic potatoes, then you can use them with the skin. If not, then better don't. You love potatoes. We now turn, we now return to him. Oh, there's the host alert. Finally. Thank you again. Tonight we have a potato celebration, fried potato and fish celebration. So, nice, nice. And now what I always do is I sprinkle them with a bit of some curry salt. So, like this, and then I shake it, and the tissue is gonna soak up the oil. So, like this. So, stuff is turned off. Alright, now it's presentation time. You have joined for the right time. You put the potatoes in the oven. Okay, you put them in the oven. That's also tasty. Good. Now... Oh, wait. <laughs> I have the spoon still in there. Presentation time. I'm gonna take out the fish. Yeah, now the fish has been in the oven since half an hour, so it's definitely ready to be served. Typhoon Justin, welcome! So, these are my rose fish packages. I'm gonna unpack them now and you will see they are covered in a mustard cream with um, dill and lemon <coughs> so careful because the foil is of course hot Ouch, it's really hot. Okay, gonna open it up a bit and let's see what fish is the prettiest. Organic sounds expensive. 
not much more expensive, a little bit. These are also organic, the lemons. That's why I use them with the skin. Now it's not only marketing to run, they also use much less um, chemicals or sometimes even none, no chemicals at all. So which fish is now prettier? I think this one is, right? Yeah, this one is prettier. The one here. Or this one with the ripped lemons. Which one do you find prettier? The one here with the destroyed lemons or the ones... Oh, whoops. So just tell me, please. Now it's serving time. And I will put some potatoes on the plate. Just a few. The left one. Wait, what is the left one? Because I see it the other way around or and then the cam is also... Wait. The one with the destroyed lemons or the one with the pretty lemons? <coughs> so, and of course mushroom cream. Mushroom cream on top. And then some herbs. Some parsley. So I will be right back with you. Wait. So, just like this. The one close to you, this one. Yeah, right? The one with the whole lemons. Perfect. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Liz Langer, for the follow. Okay, then I'm gonna close this one so it stays nice and hot. And let's see if I can get that one out without destroying it as well. Some fresh dill on top. Okay. Now let's see. I'm gonna place it on the tissue first, so it's not gonna be too wet. Porkin, hey! Uh, yeah, I am gonna post everything on my blog, as you guys know. So, goldamsel.tv, okay, so that's my blog. Perfect. Yeah, I'm happy how it looks. Um, so, for everyone who doesn't know, here's my blog, goldamsel.tv, and there you can find the dishes I made this year so far, and um, the ingredients list and everything. Um, conventional potatoes are known to be high in pesticides, which means the skin can be cancer causing. Yeah. That's right, Nana Terra. So you either want to spend more or you 
shouldn't eat so many potatoes. Wait. Of course, uh, just potatoes with the skin. So, this here is my dish for you tonight. Um, and yeah, it's night. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. here in Germany. So, um, yeah. Uh, I spent some long hours cooking and talking with you guys and um, this is the result this is a very nice rose fish with um, mustard and some onion shallots dill covered with a lemon and yeah fried potatoes and I want to bite into them so this smells wonderfully fresh so it doesn't even smell like fish so for anyone who doesn't like fish this smells like a lemon dill mixture um how tall am i scroll down and read my description i would be very very thankful when people are reading it before asking and also i have a wonderful short story down there if you like to read the short story is made for you tell us how it tastes yeah i'm gonna bite into it in a moment and Nick wow it's been a long time welcome back so um, yeah but first I have to hold it for a while and talk for a few minutes so I can make a screenshot for my blog so um, yeah don't be surprised that I stand here for a few minutes holding it while I talk very tasty, yes. I love rose fish. I love fish in general. Um, I love salmon, tuna. Um, I love the sea devil. Lena, oh, thanks for the follow. And Sadapilot is back. Welcome back. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna try it in a moment. First, yeah, that's a good position, right? It's been a year! So what happened to you, Nick? Tell us, please. What happened to you? It's... Oh, it's shot for Overwatch. I have played Overwatch on stream two times, I think. And yeah, I sucked both times. Um, well, that one time was funny because it was um, a Halloween special and I played Overwatch and um, no one cared if I was good or not. Um, but usually, yeah, I, I am not good at these fast motion games. Um, me Trout, thanks for the follow. Looks like it should be on Food Network. Thank you. I'm gonna eat it in a moment, but please be patient. Wait for two more minutes. Otherwise, yeah. Anna's Olds, thanks for the fo uh, follow. You play it a lot with your girlfriend. Oh, that's cool. That's cool that you play together. Yeah, it's very important that um, people who are in a relationship have similar interests, but not too similar though. But um, yeah, share a hobby, similar ideas about life. Um, what fish is it? It's rose fish, a very delicate fish, which I can recommend to you guys. Um, but I can also recommend to you if you if you have the money, um, I know it's very expensive, the sea devil. I only ate it one time in my life um, because yeah, sea devil is expensive, but it's super, super delicious. So um, the meat is very firm and yeah, and very tasty. Just, I cannot really describe it. It was just delicious fish. So dinner and then just dance time. No, 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 no. It's past 11 p.m. here. And um, I have to wake up early tomorrow to go to my parents. So four hours of train drive and then... Yeah, I will be back on Monday. I will stream on Monday again. Um, and then let's see what I'm gonna make. Rosefish haddock. Haddock, okay. But rosefish sounds much more appealing to me so it sounds so soft and romantic 
You have salmon in the freezer. Yeah, salmon is always nice, so... Yeah! <laughs> the sea devil is the, this nasty kind of um, anglerfish. Yeah. The scary one from Finding Nemo. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat this now. I'm gonna take out a small fork. But of course, I'm never eating everything on stream. Because I always like to sit down on a table to eat. So, the potato is crunchy, as you can see. There, with the skin still on there, and... Yep. Mmm. -hmm. And this is way more crunchy. Hmm. Way more crunchy. And now the fish. There. With a uh, diddle. Oops. I hope it's not too hot anymore. Oh. There's some bone. Very fresh. So it definitely adds some taste, some flavor, when you put lemon into the bag. So I can show you how the bag looks like. No, I can't. Wait. It's dripping. So here, you can see the bag where the fish was in and the juice here and um, yeah the fish soaks in the lemon as you can see here mm. um, usually no that fish is usually not bony so that a lot so of course you find two or three bones once in a while but um, Usually that fish shouldn't be bony now. Um, yeah, but it's cool. Put the lemon into the package and then you will have a fresh taste. <clears throat> My voice again, excuse me. Hmm, that's cool. And of course, you can see the red onions here. Also adding taste and flavor. Nice. I like it. So, this has a very fresh taste. This here has a very hearty taste. I think that's a great combination. For everyone who's new to my stream, make sure to check out my social media down below. Are links to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. I'm posting news there. I'm posting pictures there. And I'm announcing my streams there with some stream invitation videos. So. Make sure to follow me there, and um, in case you want to connect with us, with the community off stream, exclamation mark Discord in the chat, and you can join my Discord. You do not need to be a subscriber, everyone can join. Mm. And now I'm going to sit down on the table to enjoy this wonderful meal, and thank you everyone for stopping by, and thanks to everyone who supported this goal today for outdoor streaming equipment. I'm really looking forward to do some outdoor streams, to go to strawberry fields, to stream in my parents' garden, and yeah. Tomorrow and on Sunday, I will be at my parents' home, so there's bad internet connection, no stream. But uh, with this here, this equipment, it would be possible, and of course, higher internet speed. So yeah, looking forward to it, looking forward to a summer where I stream outside a lot. and. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a cool Friday. Sleep well, everyone. And bye-bye. See you on Monday. Be strong to hold the powers of the sun.